Servus Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again. Since a couple of you pointed out these beautiful blackberries last time I was in the forest, uh, yeah, here once again, blackberries, they're ripe right now and I will probably try some later. Um, today I want to give a brief report about our health minister, Mr. Lauterbach. Um, you must understand that this very uh, peculiar guy um, with a weird way of speaking and uh, kind of nerdy professor-like um, behavior. Uh, he is a professor, actually, medicine, but I don't think he ever seriously practiced medicine. Um, anyway, so uh, you must understand that this guy is somewhat of a hate figure uh, for many freedom-loving Germans uh, because he is um, very unapologetic when it comes to um, advertising um, pharmaceutical products and also measures like masks and lockdowns and these things and Chinese um, Communist Party style uh, smartphone apps that um, determine whether or not you're allowed to leave your house and whether or not you are allowed to use the train or go into a shop. He likes all that stuff and that's why yeah, people who dislike these ideas, they of course dislike him because he is one of the most prominent and most aggressive voices in Germany championing these ideas. So, and in the last weeks, uh, he has come under a lot of pressure and a lot of weird things have happened. Uh, stuff that I don't fully understand because I thought that he is a weird guy, sure, and I definitely don't agree with him, but I thought he's not that stupid. And <laughs> I just wonder, is that some, are they just clowning the German people? Are they mocking them? Or um, is he really that stupid? Or do they want to try how far they can go? Um, and nothing happens. So, but let me uh, explain to you what I'm talking about. So, um, he um, was um, tested positive for the China bug in the beginning of August. And um, he said he has symptoms. And um, he also claimed that he has double booster. That means four uh, jabs. Four jabs, he claimed. And, um, uh, but at the same time, he said he still has symptoms and he... Just to be on the safe side, he takes a some sort of a another drug or some some pharmaceutical um, product that is used for it's called Pax Love It or something. I don't know how to pronounce these things really, but um, it is a drug that is uh, administered to people, and this is what they say, who are not. Uh, fully protected but with four jabs he would count as fully protected so I, I, I thought that was weird that was the first thing I thought why is he taking that stuff when for people like him this is not a suggested medication that is weird yeah. and uh, then um, when he was uh, back at work uh, during some sort of a press conference he probably wanted to advertise um, these um, yeah um, these apps that show red when you have to stay at home and they show green when it's okay for you to leave your house he wanted to advertise that and he held his own smartphone with his own app open into the camera and it shows some kind of a as i said like a color code and it shows a qr code and people of course scanned this qr code and it was his cell phone and it showed that his um his last injection was in November and it was the third one not the fourth one and that's weird because he claims that 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 he has four of them and apparently he only has three so after uh, that came out uh, he tweeted that oh don't worry about this QR code thing uh, actually I have uh, four jabs I just didn't didn't put the fourth one into the app but I but I but I definitely got it trust me yeah so that that raises a lot of questions um the first one is of course um does he trust his own um 
product that he pushes on people. He desperately tries that. And so I told you already that a lot of this product needs to be discarded because it reached its expiration date. And the same goes, by the way, by the way, for this um, additional um, product that they're using now this um, if you are already infected and if you have heavy symptoms and as I said it's the stuff that he also took and that should only be given to people who are you know unjabbed or not um, not uh, sufficiently jabbed or jabbed long ago and that's why it doesn't it's not a well supposedly effective anymore what have you right so uh, this is very very interesting or very confusing for many people and so the question is does he not trust this thing that he pushes on people or um yeah did he really just make an honest mistake which would be weird because his own government and he himself they are saying you have to uh, if you get the jab you have to put it into digital form you need this app and it needs to be in the database and you need to show your qr code so that this color coding Chinese style um, thing works and you know I never installed one of these apps I never did any research on that I just see it on the news sometimes when they try to to advertise that to people and I don't care about these apps I would never uh, in my wildest dreams I, hope I would put one of these apps on my phone no way um, I also didn't put like WeChat or whatever this thing is called when I was in China I always refused to put these these uh, uh, apps on my phone but yeah that's neither here nor there now and uh, yeah and if that was not enough to create some pressure or <laughs> some for Mr. Lauterbach um, now there are I think he was yeah people were you know um, uh, reporting him to the police I should say or they were suing or something um, because um, just six days after his uh, positive test he was already going back to um, government meetings um, in Berlin and uh, he left his apartment or his home and uh, he tweeted at the same time that he's still not feeling okay and he still has symptoms and technically you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to stay at home until you're without symptoms you should isolate yourself and there are actually people um, that are persecuted right now because they didn't do that so the authorities are coming after citizens uh, who are not staying at home for five or ten days or until their test is negative or until they're absolutely symptom free uh, yeah they get in trouble they get in trouble at work they get in trouble with the with the law enforcement i should say yeah uh, uh, but mr lauterbach our health minister who is once again who is uh, behind all this um yeah he himself apparently went back to work still having symptoms he said he's not feeling all right and he hopes that he is fully recovered soon implying or well explicitly stating actually that he is not fully recovered yet so uh, well, there is an investigation against him right now to ascertain whether or not he um, put other people in danger. And, you know, of course, I'm not in favor of these rules, but you know, if you have these rules and if you persecute people, uh, then you should go after everyone. Huh? And uh, especially after the ones who um, put these rules in place. And, yeah, I don't think that will work i don't think i think he probably has some some special protection or uh, i think the the um, authorities will not seriously go after him and uh, once again same thing they will just wait until another scandal is hyped up by the media and um, i you know normally i wouldn't report about these things but this is so weird because at this moment now where they're already saying that um in autumn they are um yeah they're expecting there to be street protests again and that that people are getting more angry and why are they doing this now why is he behaving like that i mean once again i mean he could be that stupid and that oblivious to the fact that people are getting really angry and frustrated here um but you know i i actually 
I am surprised that he is that stupid. And and he's holding his own set. I mean, that was weird because everyone said always, oh, never post your QR code. I mean, once again, I don't have these apps, but, you know, even I know that um, people warned against that for privacy reasons and all these things. I mean, that you should never post your your app and your QR code and these things or your, your um, yeah, your medical records or something because it is a kind of a medical record and he just held it into the camera i thought what what why is he doing that so weird so you know um there is a a possibility that they that he's he's not that stupid that this is planned of course you can never prove that but maybe they want to make people really angry now i don't know it, it's a possibility I mean, maybe we're not ruled only by incompetent people, but also by complete psychos who follow some kind of a plan here. Well, that's ultimately for you to decide what you think is the case here. Um, I leave it at that. Servus, Kameraden.